Hi, I'm Bianca. And I'm Sean. And we've been talking a lot about data governance lately. Uh, there are some things going on in Toronto. We've got Sidewalk Toronto in the United States. We've got Cambridge Analytica. People and their data and some of the concerns, challenges, opportunities. Uh, it's, it's a big topic right now. So one of the main things is how do we get involved in those conversations more? Yeah. Well, one way to do that is to treat data as a shared resource, as something that we all can own together, we can compromise and make decisions around together. And what kind of a process would one follow to do that? I know we've been talking about data trust. Is that something that we need to learn about and maybe consider together? I'm saying this because I'm in a city where we're trying to figure out what to do about data has, you know, there's public, private, and there's opportunities within data and there's risks. So how do we think through some of those things together? That could be one use of a data trust, yes? Absolutely. Data trusts are great tools, but they're not deterministic, so that you can do lots of different things, engage in different processes, and bring in different communities. It's important to have the set of considerations that a trust asks answered, to be able to have really concrete conversations about how it is that we do this together. And that level of clarity is one of the best things about data trusts, is that once those decisions are made, they become legally significant. It's interesting because one of the major points that has come out of conversations in the last year is that we don't have a good mechanism for the use of our collective data, aggregate data. Not just me, but everybody maybe who lives in my neighborhood or in my city. So this might be one of the ways to have discussions about that situation, which is really, really exciting. Absolutely. Data trusts are a way to take individual interests and also balance them with collective interests and maybe all of society interests. So different levels of consideration that you then bring into the governance process and are able to balance also public and private interests. So having everybody at the table is the best way to get the most out of something that we share together. There's a lot to think about and talk about with this, so I'm really excited to keep doing that. Me too.